Hey guys, Super K Sharpening here. I just wanted to do a quick touch up to one of my Spyderco fixed blades. I've already got the angle dialed in. I'm at 17.60 degrees on each side. Like I said, I've already got that dialed in. I use the main adjuster here that goes from a range of 14 to 27 degrees. And then I can use the wheels here and use these as a micro adjust, which moves these further or closer to the, the arm right here. But like I said, I already have it all set up and ready to go. Uh, and I'm gonna start off, since this knife has already been sharpened, I'm gonna start off with the 800 and 1000 grit diamond stones and do a quick progression from there. And then afterwards, I'll give y'all a quick paper test. Here we go. With the 1000 grit stones, you want real light pressure. You've already done most of the work with the other stones starting from 100 grit all the way up to 1000 grit. And with my system here in front of me, I have all the way up to 0.6 microns in the, uh, the stones, which those are actually ceramic stones. The ones I'm using right now are diamonds. I'll try to keep my arm out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing. But it's real, real light pressure. You're not pressing hard at all. You wanna just basically let the weight of the stone contact the edge. And from there, you're gonna get a really sharp knife. If you want to take it further, which I can, I just don't have it in front of me at the moment, you can get some leather straps and strop the edge from there. And that makes it just screaming sharp, where you can whittle hair, you can cut all kinds of things very, very, very finely. You'll also hear the difference in the, the higher grit stones. The 100 and 200 grit stones tend to be a lot more aggressively uh, cutting, so therefore it's a little bit louder when you're sharpening. For this right now, I'm not really counting per side. I just wanna make sure that everything's equal. You do one to one, so one on the left equals one on the right, and you just keep going until you're content. For this knife, like I said, it is already sharpened. I have sharpened it in the past, and I just wanted a quick touch up from here. So from there, oh wow, that's sharp. Being very careful not to cut myself. I'm gonna switch from the 1000 grit to the 2200 grit, also diamond stones. And then you just continue on. Like I said, you wanna keep it even, so one on the left, one on the right. For this, like I stated earlier, I'm not counting. I'm simply just going till I feel it. What I mean by feel is you'll, you won't get any sort of resistance from the stone on the edge, and it feels smooth for lack of better words. For this length of knife, you want to be real mindful to go all the way from the base of the knife down all the way to the tip. Also with a recurved blade like this or the recurved like shape, it's not a problem with this system. The system has such a wide range of knives that it can sharpen. With these two, 2200 grit stones also, it's barely removing that much metal at all. So you're not gonna sit here and chew away the life of your knife by sharpening it down too far. Then from there, I'm gonna clean off my blade to get any metal residue that has come off during the sharpening process. Just a regular old paper towel. Got a little bit of metal dust on there. And then we're gonna turn my stones over to the 3000 grit side. And then you just continue on.
Also with the, these 3000 grit stones, you're starting to get closer to a mirrored edge. To get those high polished mirrored edges, you would go to your straps, which are just beautiful. And then even with those mirrored edges, they, they're they very, 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 very sharp. I'm gonna focus a little bit down here on the tip just to make sure that I got it nice and equal with the rest of the blade. Also, the direction of the sharpening doesn't matter either. You can go from the tip to the heel, which I sometimes do on longer blades like this just to make sure that everything is equal. And it doesn't affect its performance at all. It just make sure that the whole blade is sharpened equally. And with these stones, once again, it's really, really, really light pressure. I'm only using the weight of the stones to, um, to sharpen this edge. Then from there, I'm gonna switch back. Like I said, it doesn't affect the blade at all. It doesn't affect the sharpening or the performance of the edge. Real light pressure, nice and slow, nice and easy. Also, if you wanna see any of my other work, sometimes I post pictures, sometimes I post videos on my Instagram. At Super K Sharpening. That's Super K Sharpening. Like I said, I have everything that I've sharpened to this date, for the exception of the knives when I first started out. All of it's on there. There's some really great content. You can check out all my work from knives to scissors to box cutter blades, you name it. I sharpened it. Then from there, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm gonna switch to my ceramics. I'm gonna start off with the 1.4 micron, and then I'm gonna switch to the 0.6 micron. But first, I wanna clean off my blade to get any metal residue off, because I don't wanna transfer it to my ceramics, which would be cross-contamination. So I give the blade a couple wipes, being careful not to cut myself. With these, it's even lighter pressure. Lighter pressure and just a little bit slower for the ceramics. Feeling pretty good about that. Once again, I'm gonna wipe off my blade to get any metal residue off. And already, just at that stage, I'm starting to get a mirrored edge. I don't know if it's coming through in the video. You can see a little bit of shine up here. I'm gonna switch over to the 0.6 micron. Once again, very light pressure using only the weight of the stones. With this knife, I have it on Instagram, the entire setup process, step-by-step step, broken down per post. I have it from the initial setup, from literally putting the blade into the clamp, to finding the angle, to 
going to the sharpening stones. If you want to check any of that out, it's all on my Instagram at Super K Sharpening. And right now, that is absolutely just scary sharp. The best way I know how to explain it is sticky sharp. It just, it feels like it's about to bite into my finger. And I gotta be very, very, very careful not to cut myself. And from there, you can take it to the straps. For this knife right now, I'm gonna stop at the 0.6 ceramics, 0.6 micron ceramics, but I can take it up further all the way up to 0 0.025 microns, which is just incredibly sharp. It's mirrored polish and it is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful edge. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.